Hi, it's Barb Mallon again, and um, apparently my 11-minute YouTube video on all my Claire's was too long. Go figure. Um, so I have to cut it down a lot better. I talk way too much, obviously. So I wanted to go through some things real quickly before I start with the first, the first lesson, Claire's, um, your Claire's. So let's start real quickly with just a prep, if you will. I already did my introduction, but this is just a prep. So a couple things. The first first thing is we're going to start with psychic development um, and then lead into mediumship later down the line. And that is because you have to refine psychically before you can uh, you can delve into mediumship. You have to know how you're going to get your information. I think John Edwards says you have to be a, a doctor before you're a surgeon or something. I love that analogy. So um, so we're going to we're going to start with psychic development. And with that, um, you're going to want to practice with people. You're going to want to, um, when, once you learn some of the things, like we'll talk about psychometry and tarot readings maybe down the line a little bit. But um, once you start practicing with people, you want to remember a f couple things. The first thing is, or, and even if you're meditating, um, you're, you're, in your, you're practicing meditation, you want to remember a couple things. First of all, you want to remember to trust the information that you're getting. Trust what you're receiving. Um, whether it's clairvoyantly, clairaudiently in your in your ear, or clairsentiently, or where, however you're receiving the information through your clairs, really trust it and write down the information if you can. Write down the, anything that per, that pertains to you, not a client, of course, but um, but write down the information that you're getting during meditation or dreams, or if you just are receiving information. Um, you want to trust that information, though. Trust what you're getting, uh, and and. Because if you don't trust, you might as well not even try. You have to really learn to trust yourself and what you're receiving. The other thing is, if you are practicing with somebody, make sure that you, I call it ethically blurt. You want to blurt information. You want to keep talking because the more you're talking, the more it flows. But you want to be very careful what's coming out of your mouth. You always want to be very careful. Ethically blurt. You never want to uh, say that you're seeing something you know, detrimental or any kind of health issues or anything like that. Um, you want to be very careful what comes out of your mouth because that can really affect a client either way, um, good or bad. <laughs> but you want to make sure you ethically blurt. The other thing is that you want to, um, oh, what, what is it? You want to make sure that, oh, what when you are doing practice readings, to train yourself right away not to ask questions in your delivery. So if you are, rece if you are receiving information, let's say you receive information, let's say you, you see a black dog. Because you don't want to be wrong, a lot of people start out, out in, in the wrong way. I'm going to train you right away not to do this. They'll say, do you have a dog? Because I'm seeing a dog. Um, it's better if you give, give your information as a statement. This is where the skeptics and cynics come in and go, you're fishing, you're fishing, you're fishing for information. Um, and in a way, it looks like you are. So you have to be confident in what you're giving out. Uh, do the best you can. Try not to worry about being wrong and ethically blurt. So you're going to say, instead of, do you have a dog? You're going to say, I'm seeing a black dog with a white chest and a black nose. Does this make sense to you? Give your information as a statement and, and, then, and then, you know, then ask uh, if it makes sense to the person. Those are just three little quick pointers that you want to remember as you're going through. Be ethical, as ethical as you can. Remember that you're doing any kind of reading either for yourself or for your clients for the highest good of all parties involved. And um, trust yourself, trust the information you're getting, and, um, and don't ask questions. Okay, there you go. There's your first little mini lesson, and then next we're going to start with the Claire's. Okay, so make sure you get your pen and paper ready.